My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Scorpio, welcome to your love horoscope for 2014. Thank you for being here. For love this year, the phrase that I thought of when I looked at the sky for you was, you want what you want when you want it, right? We hear that all the time or we hear that here and there. And sometimes people could strike us that way that, wow, that person is really sort of a law unto themselves. They, they know what they want. They want it right now. And there's an impatience there that's hard to pin down. That for you is what your romantic life is going to be like much of this year. It does look like for those of you who are attached, let's start there. For those of you who are attached, there is a little bit of you wanting to exert your will a little bit. And you might not always understand why you're doing it. Why are you behaving the ways that you are? What is playing out here? But it looks like there's a larger karmic pattern playing out within the relationship. And it's all part of you deciding how this relationship is supposed to change. And the way that you seem to be wanting to decide that is by pushing boundaries, by pushing and seeing how far you can actually get with this person, how far you this person is gonna allow you to get, how much boundaries are gonna be tested. That seems to be the big driving force. Now you want to be cautious that you're not actually pushing the person away. There's a desire on your part to push boundaries so that you can infiltrate this person's life even more. And we can think of that in the best possible sense of the word. And yet, if you're not really mindful and communicating during this whole process, you're going to find that there may be a little bit of pushing away that you end up doing with this person. For those of you who are not attached, who are single, well, this is, you know, triply true for you. You want what you want when you want it. You don't know why you're going to find yourself attracted to people. You can't put your finger on why it is that you want them. Maybe they're not the easiest people to be around. Okay. Maybe they trigger feelings that aren't always very comfortable, but ultimately there is a very deep karmic resolution taking place. It doesn't look like now, if you're looking for somebody a little bit more permanent, I do think that there may be a little bit of a window that you do have over the course of the spring to meet somebody who could have the possibility to be more permanent. But the overriding sort of theme seems to be, at least over the course of this year, the overriding theme to me seems to be about um, you really resolving some stuff, really looking at who it is that you are, who it is you don't want to be, what it is you want based on what it is that you don't want. And with your attractions and with you just wanting what you want, actually, as I keep saying, karmic stuff is playing out here and it's about karmic resolutions. It's about you really meeting the people that you need to so that you can get the lesson and then that's it. And then you get out. And whether it's you taking the steps to get out or whether it's them that leaves, either way, I do see you really grateful. It's almost as if you're willing to put so much more in in some cases, or you're willing to go in a certain direction that maybe you don't really want to go, that maybe you promised yourself you wouldn't, that you never thought that you would. And when this other person pulls back, ultimately, yes, there is an element that might feel a little hurt by it, but ultimately it's really, you can see the wisdom and you actually feel really grateful. And that is also a big overriding theme is gratitude. The people who come into your life now are meant to change you deeply, are meant to change the way you see yourself, the way you see your power, the way you understand your connection, even to spirit, the way you understand how things have been written for you and where you can actually play with that, where your power is. And the people who come into your life now, really, it is they come with a specific reason and it's karmic and so that you can get a very important lesson that you need to get at this point in your life, especially where it has to do with love as part of preparing you for an even greater love a little bit later on down the road. Now that doesn't mean, as I said, that there isn't the possibility that you meet somebody that can be more long-term, 
But what I do think is a much more likely scenario is that you're going to meet people who are there to prepare you for the person who is meant to be there for you in a bigger scheme, who is meant to be there for you in the longer term. Embrace the lessons. One thing's for sure though, yes, you have these desires. Yes, you want the person. You want what you want when you want it, as I keep saying. And yet there's also a lot of fun to be had, a whole lot of fun to be had and new things to discover about yourself thanks to the other person, new ways to understand the ways in which you can love and how much you can care thanks to the other person. And that really is such a great gift. There's big learning on offer, big learning, and also a big transformation as well, a personal transformation but also a transformation in how you understand love and what love is going to mean for you. And that comes about through some key people who enter your life this year.